Hi, welcome to Thunder Show and the hottest moments of the past week. Today's episode contains lots of explosives of all levels of intensity and familiarity. Watch and enjoy. Let's get started. We've had numerous moments where aircraft get bombed, but the most important part here is how it's done. Jandura got chased by an enemy MiG, so they spray their doom gifts to the side, make a sharp turn, and the chaser flies right into the danger stream, like clockwork. How much explosive matter does a King Tiger's shell have? The correct answer is enough. Enough to land a good shot and vaporize three vehicles at once. Tanks use all kinds of active protection systems against missiles, but this one's got to take the cake for being the most expensive one, since the T-32 is protected by no less than a shiny new Mustang. Can't have enough of those for everyone, though. It still counts, no questions asked. What do you do if you and your friend spent all your rockets and the nearest point is controlled by an enemy? More than that, it's guarded by a dick or max. Well, these ninja artillerists have it all figured out. They take the SPG hostage, use a clever mind trick to force the crew to jettison the vehicle from pure desperation, and then just drive to the point to cap it. Now you can refill your ammo in peace. The Sturm Tiger is widely believed to be a boom or bust machine for fun games that sometimes brings a heap of frags, but also sometimes brings you empty handed to the hangar screen. Hi, I am Steve goes against the flow and plays it like a regular vehicle, bold but careful, without taking unnecessary risks. They also know how to dance around the corners and defend a point with a clear head. And you know what? It works. It works so well that Steve ends this battle in the skies, carrying an itty bitty surprise for everyone still kicking. And Steve means business. Now let's go visit Live War Thunder, where we can hear the rumble of a fearsome, beautiful tank. This isn't just a Top Leopard 2A7V, it's a personal tool of war belonging to Sigismund the High Marshal of the Black Templars and the Champion of Holy Terra. We're not sure how he'd fit in there, though, but that's not important. You know what is important, though? Sending us replays of your epic moments. The Templars couldn't even dream of the battles in the streets of Berlin or the attempts to fly through that tunnel on Frozen Pass. So we're looking forward to those emails. See ya!